Hello everybody, I'm teacher Mark and today I'm going to show you how you can design, how you can create those speech bubbles using Affinity Designer. If you would like to learn more about Affinity Apps, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Alright, let's get started. Here's a new blank document in Affinity Designer for desktop. I'm going to use the default shape first. That's a good news for us. There's uh, actually a call out box here. Take a look. We got a default shape that we can use to draw some kind of speech bubble, speech balloon like this. There are even orange control points that we can pull up and down, left and right to customize the shape. We can round the corners or make them completely straight as well using the orange point. And there's one more variation of this. The same thing, but based on the oval. So we got some kind of a circle oval shape over there with this little call out triangle stick to it. Of course, we can flip this shape. So we got this above like that. So that two built in shapes, but maybe you are searching for something a little bit different. So we're going to create some custom one as well. But first, let's set up the stroke. Usually we got speech bubbles with thick lines around, like inking around them. And we can also reduce the pressure in the middle of the line to mimic like the marker. Cool. And the fill, I will keep it white for now. Let's go with rectangle tool like this and then simply use the pen tool to create almost triangle, but do not close it. Keep it open and fill it with white color. So we got this hand draw feel to it. All right. So this way we create our speech bubble number three. We can modify this with simply cursor tool a little bit down. All right. What next? Maybe we can start with oval tool itself and then keep using it to create some kind of cloud. Sometimes when the character is just thinking about something, we don't want to use a normal speech bubble. We just want to use this cloud looking speech bubble to indicate that this is just in some character mind. So we can now select all and add. And that's one shape right now. This was our speech bubble number three. What else can we do here? Let's continue with the start tool. By default, we got only five arms, but we can change this easily using the slider above. Then again, using orange points, we can modify the overall appearance. And this way we create this very dynamic speech bubble for some kind of explosion or something really, really dynamic that happened in our comic book. All right, here I got oval tool again, and I will do similar trick with the pen tool to draw this part. This time it's more, this is like curvy one, not just stiff, not just straight line. Okay, we can modify this easily. Playing around with no tool to alter this oval a little bit, make it more organic. That's the idea here. By using no tool, you are able to modify any curve you want using those control nodes. You can even drag the line itself in Avity Designer. That's nice. We can move it to the spot. We can even group that. So we can group those elements together so we can move it as one. So we got six speech bubbles so far. Let's create maybe three more. And then I'm going to show you how to save them nicely. So what can we do here? Maybe let's try to use pen tool to make some kind of like organic speech bubble, like very rough edge. And now using rectangle tool, I'm going to expand this shape a little bit. Join it together and now I will add additional nodes using node tool. You can also add additional nodes as you can see to make it irregular like this. So we got a kind of strange looking, very rough, strong speech bubble here. All right. 
we can of course flip that left and right up and down that's up to you how you're going to use it two more to go this time i think i will pick maybe triangle we're going to make some kind of zap speech bubble related to electricity thunders just triangle like this duplicate flip it all around and now we can join them together using geometry panel so we got this little lightning like symbol it can be used as a speech bubble as well all right and our final one this will be the double speech bubble sometimes two characters are talking to each other or saying the same thing and we can use double speech bubble like this starting with round corner rectangle and now i will just draw those two cons using pen tool like before and here it is our double speech bubble let's group that over here and we are done we create nine different speech bubbles that can be really really handy when you're working on a little comic panel all right we got nine speech bubbles now i will simply reposition them a little bit to keep everything nicely on this artboard and then i will show you how you can add some extras change colors and also how to, how to keep them nicely how to save them as affinity designer native asset file that can be used with affinity designer publisher and photo later on all right so let's start with adjusting the stroke so we get the same stroke all around and of course if you need you can change this default fill color i just set it up as white because this is the most popular one but of course it's going to be modified no problem with that some people like to add extra shadow you can do it by simply duplicating the shape move it back behind the white shape and this way you get this nice shadow don't use soft, sh soft shadows here like the blur or the default drop shadow no we don't want that because we are designing comic the printed medium so we just simply duplicate one shape to make an alternative version of it we and i'm doing something similar here with the star shape we use for this explosion like speech bubble so you can have two and later on you can simply recolor one to be yellow and another one to be red so we've got two colors all right so you can do it with any shape here you just simply duplicate you can drag the shape holding command or control key to make a duplicate of it or trusty command c command v will do as well and this way we can make this nice looking comic like shadow all right again double check with the outline with the stroke everything's all right here let's add the pressure back like this and now we are ready to save our assets so we can use them later with different projects that's the goal here of course you could copy and paste them every time you need those speech bubbles but there's a better way of doing that so we will need to select all of them and open asset panel so view studio and assets over here i will create a new subcategory for myself and now i will add from selection as you can see all nine assets are added to the list this one is without fill color so let's delete that fill it with white and add it again just this one perfect now we got all nine and now you'll be able to reuse that not only in affinity designer but in publisher and photo as well just drag and drop and you got your assets in your artboard in seconds that's really nice this way you can easily share them across different projects without need to open the file the file with assets itself all right because they're kind of embedded into your affinity designer now don't worry i will save them as the asset file for you like last time and you will be able to download them for free i will drop the link in the description so you can 
just grab them you can download them if you don't want to draw them yourself or you just want to simply practice with this asset panel how to open how to save them you can do it the download link to all of assets from this tutorial is in the description so help yourself with that and of course we can save our assets as the dedicated asset file for affinity design all right guys i hope you learned something new and i hope you will use those assets i made for you to make really nice a comic panel and i will see you in the next tutorial please consider subscribing to my little youtube channel if you are into affinity apps like me see you in the next one